Hi guys, it's Patty here from I Can't Wait. I'm here with my week 68 post-op VSG uh, weight loss surgery. Um, I've been traveling the last few weeks, so that's why I haven't really checked in with you lately. I just wanted to do a small update and let you know where I am right now and what's been going on. Um, on April 19th, 2017, I underwent vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG weight loss surgery with Dr. Mario Almanza in Tijuana, Mexico. I'm five foot three and a half. I was 59 years old when I had the surgery. I'm 60 now. Uh, and my name's Patty, if I forgot to say that. Um, my starting weight the day of surgery was 265.0 pounds. My weight today is 100, did I say 100? It was 265.0 pounds. Today, I am 162.1. So I've lost like 103, almost 104 pounds, which is about what I was last time I came to you a few weeks ago. Um, three weeks ago, I went, is it two or three weeks? Two or three weeks ago, I went to Northern Arizona on a camping trip with my husband and our best friends who live in uh, Mesa, Arizona. We went to Northern Arizona, Flagstaff area, and camped out on some forest service land. And we had the most unbelievable monsoon storms I have ever experienced. We had thunder, lightning, rain, hail, every day for the five days we were there. Um, it was quite scary in our trailer at one point. I, I was really worried about lightning. Um, there's a phenomenon called the Faraday phenomenon or something like that, which means if, if lightning strikes um, a house or a vehicle like a trailer, it actually will strike but then go around the object. So that was good news for us because it was pretty scary. Um, we had some really close... Uh, lightning strike so we did camp for five days though we um, got stuck in the mud our first second night we were there and it took two trucks and three hours to pull our trailer out of the lake we were in it was crazy so we moved to higher ground um, and then we stayed the remainder of our trip there it was fun seeing our best friends I did go off plan a little I had some chips and then after that I indulged in some chips and after that I had even more chips so I was just craving salt I, I don't know guys I don't know what it was but I just wanted something crunchy I wanted something salty and those barbecue kettle chips just did the trick I just enjoyed the heck out of them I also had a little bit of fruit um, I had some melon and I think a little bit of apple I can't remember what else and, oh and I had a um, one of those juice bars, a coconut juice bar. Coconut's my favorite flavor besides chocolate. So I had one of those. So I, I cheated a little bit. Um, when I got home, I jumped on the scale the next day and I had gained two pounds, which wasn't too bad because I lost it during the next week after that. And then this last week, I had my 25th wedding anniversary. We went to Vegas. We went out to dinner. We went to see Cirque du Soleil Mystere, which I highly recommend. It was really good. Um, so we did that. Um, I did eat on plan while I was there. I had a filet mignon steak and a lettuce, half of a lettuce wedge salad. I did get dumping. I don't know why. I think it might have been too much blue cheese or the rich dressing on the salad. And then I also had blue cheese on my steak. <laughs> so... I think I overindulged a little bit. I don't know why, but every time I go out to eat, I get dumping. What, what in the world is with that? I don't understand. Anyway, the food was still good, and I recovered uh, before the show started, so that was good. But I was feeling pretty nauseated and sweaty, and my stomach was gurgly, and, you know, all those dumping signs. It was, it was not pleasant for about an hour. Anyway, made it through, went to the show, had a good time, had a nice anniversary, 25 years. Sorry, that was my kitty coming in through the kitty door. 
25 years, um, my second husband. Um, it's been a great ride, that's all I can say. So my weight has been pretty stable the last, I'd say, three or four weeks. I'm down, as I said, about a half a pound. But I am still intermittent fasting, um, 16 hours a day, if I didn't already say that. Uh, I fast from 8 p.m. until 12 p.m. the next day, and I'm going to be implementing some 22 to 24 hour fasts into my uh, weekly schedule. I'm planning on doing it twice a week. I did it once so far, and I am able to do it okay with no problems. I just have to make sure I'm busy, because fasting for a long time when you're not busy is miserable for me anyway, because all I think about is wanting to eat and food. So, um, with my vacations lately, I have realized that I will never be free of the tendency to want to eat more carbs when I eat carbs and that I love sugar, but I can't have it. I mean, food addiction is real people and I don't think it'll ever, ever go away. I just have to stay on my low carb uh, plan probably for the rest of my life. And in ways, if I think about it too much, it's depressing to think I can never have any sugar ever again. But I choose to not think of it that way. I choose to think of it as uh, one meal at a time, one day at a time, and just do what I can to stay on track and feel good. Because I actually feel much, much better when I'm not eating simple carbs and sugar. Um, rice, for some reason, even brown rice doesn't agree with me. I don't know why, but it just feels like lead stuck between my chest. I, I don't know what that is. I'm still not able to eat um, whole grain rice, or, and I'm choosing not to eat any other grains. So for the... Um, time being and for the foreseeable future, I don't think I'm gonna have many carbs left in my diet, except for, I think fruit now and again is, is, is okay, especially pears, apples, melon, berries especially, are very uh, low in carbs. So I'll probably keep incorporating those things in my diet at least once a week. I mean, geez, I can't even have berries. <laughs> that's a little bit too strict for me. That's something, I, I have to do an, a plan of eating that I can do the rest of my life, not just right now to lose 10 or 12 more pounds. Um, I need to incorporate it for, um, as something I can do the rest of my life and stay happy. So we'll see what that brings in the future. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, I do plan on incorporating a few before and after pictures at the end of this video. Um, as you all know, I suck at pictures, but I am gonna do my best to try to put some pictures from the day of my surgery and then what I look like today. So I don't know how they're gonna turn out, but I'll, I'll do my best. Um, I enjoy all of your videos. Uh, please keep making them. They inspire me so much. Uh, I really need the help sometimes because I don't, I, I've lived here for 15 years, but to be truthful, I don't have a whole lot of friends. I have friends at church and stuff, but I don't have, outside the hospital and outside church, I don't have a lot of support and a lot of friends in the community, the weight loss surgery community here. So every time you make a video, it's so helpful to me. Um, I subscribe to just about everybody. So if you are new, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my videos. Um, I think we all help each other and that's a good thing. So. I will come back to you sooner this time, I hope. Um, hopefully I'll have some important or more exciting news to share. Uh, I think when you're this far out, uh, you aren't seeing the three pound losses every week and that kind of thing. So again, it tends to be a little bit more monotonous, but I did want to check in and say hi and to wish everyone well. Uh, please have a great, great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.